the former rugby union star, 43, will appear alongside Vernon K. or Oduba MD and Sterling on Loose Men, a special of the long-running ITV Loose Women daytime show. To mark International Men's Day on Friday, supermodel David Gandhi will also make an appearance on the show. Mike said, I am looking forward to being on Loose Men, talking about some really important issues facing men. Being a rugby player from the North, I think I would probably have a reputation as being strong and just getting on with it, but that doesn't always work and all of us need to talk about things. This is a great chance to do that. This marks one year since Loose Women handed the panel over to an all-male lineup for the first time in its 21-year history. The switch-up is part of the show's Stand By Your Men campaign. Loose Women's editor Sally Shelford said, Last year we were bowled over by the huge response from viewers to our first ever Loose Men to mark International Men's Day. Hearing from some of the UK's most famous faces opening up about mental health, bullying and body shaming, kick-started so many important conversations. We simply had to do it again. This year's amazing loose men lineup of Vernon, Ian, Mike and Orr promises to shine a light on even more topics affecting men today, from aging to relationships and fatherhood. Expect eye-opening conversations and lots of laughs along the way. Mike is an advocate for mental health and devotes his time doing charity work for a number of causes he connects with. In 2018, Mr. Tyndall became patron of the Cure Parkinson's Trust, which said it was thrilled to have him on board. His father was diagnosed with the condition in 2003. As part of the launch of his new support scheme, he has been meeting people that are living with the disease. In a rare TV interview earlier this year, Mike spoke about the early days of his father's diagnosis. He said, didn't really dawn on me what Parkinson's was, if you looked at people who were prevalent with Parkinson's at the time, you'd say Muhammad Ali. And you looked at my dad and you looked at Muhammad Ali, well it's not the same person, surely it's not the same disease. My dad is used to being this strong, was an athlete, played rugby, played all sports. Now suddenly he struggles to pick up a pen. After stepping away from rugby, Mike revealed finances are always on his mind. Particularly after welcoming a son earlier this year, Lucas Philip Tindall. The ex-England rugby captain told The Times, You always worry about money. I was very fortunate that I had a couple of ambassadorial roles, so you know there's money coming in, but sponsorships won't last forever. As non-working members of the royal family, the Tyndalls generate their own income. Speaking about being working royals, Mr. Tyndall described it as something you just get used to. He added, it has its benefits and it has its negatives. You think about what you do and you have to be aware of it but it doesn't necessarily dictate 